Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Dock. I'm Hujuana and today we're looking at Boeing's newly revealed F-47 6th Gen fighter jet because I thought it would be fun to speculate about some neat near future sci-fi tech it might have. I won't be going over every sci-fi plane tech though because it's unlikely to have stuff like the magic thought control from Firefox. But it may just be equipped with lasers, like lots of things in Ace Combat have had for many years now. Jet engines do produce a tremendous amount of power that could be tapped to run a laser weapon, though most likely one just for defensive purposes. It would be there to shoot down incoming missiles and such, like the one the Medusa has in Nuclear Option. The question is whether that's actually practical, considering you need optics and a way to point a thing like a turret or something, which wouldn't be particularly stealthy. Maybe something with a very small arc of fire peeking through a window, but eh. A better fit would be a phased array laser which would be flat, yet still able to point its beam all over the place. But those things are tech we're kinda far off having since you need nano scale optics and such. I talked more about phased array lasers in this video here if you're interested. The other route with lasers is to go full ace combat and have it be a forward fixed weapon like the gun that fighters carry, but such a laser would have to be ludicrously powerful for that to do anything in the brief moments it would actually be pointed at a target. It's just easier to have an actual gun for that job. So the F-47 is probably just going to have one of those rather than a laser, but it would be technically possible to include the latter. I guess it could have a microwave weapon based on its main radar, but would it be used for more than just electronic warfare stuff? I don't know. Its main weapon is going to be long range missiles and such fired from an integrated stealthy weapons bay, though probably not one like the jets in the movie Stealth use with the crazy revolver selector thing. It looks really cool and is actually similar to something many bombers have, but real integrated weapons bays on stealth fighters work a bit differently. Payloads are solidly mounted inside and the bays work by opening, pushing out a missile and closing as fast as they possibly can. This limits the amount of time the unstealthy interior of the bay is exposed for, which is kind of important for a craft that's not meant to be seen. Another one of the ideas I've seen around is that the F-47 may use aeroelastic control, but what is this? We've all seen how wings bend up when they create lift, but there are other ways and directions for wings and control surfaces to move and bend under these forces. Things like induced vibration, reduction of control, or even reversal of a control surface can happen, and these are all kind of bad, so aircraft are built to limit or prevent these things from happening. Just like how aerodynamic instability can be harnessed to actually improve aircraft maneuverability with the aid of computer controls, aeroelastic twist can also be used in this manner. The X-53 demonstrator actually tested this in the early 2000s, installing a lighter, more flexible wing and split leading edge flaps onto a pre-production FA-18. A computer used the control services to deliberately twist that more flexible wing to turn what were previously negative impacts into positive ones, getting more roll control out of a more lightweight component. Win-win! I'm not sure if this tech ended up being applied to any current production craft, but it is apparently applicable to lots of kinds of aircraft, like the Lambda wing seen in stealth bombers and some UAVs, so it's possible it's used, but we just don't know about it. Interesting tech by itself, but the real sci-fi stuff comes by combining it with the related concept of the adaptive compliant wing, which is basically flexible control services like these flexfoil morphing wings. These are intended to eliminate all the little gaps and seams that can increase drag and reduce efficiency, but to my eye it seems like that smooth shaping would fit very nicely onto a stealth plane. And the makers of the movie Stealth apparently agreed, since look, bendy control services on the Eddy UCAV that the movie actually refers to as being aeroelastic. The question is, would these bendy services be a real thing on a new jet? The B-21 Raider is designed to be super stealthy, but as we can see from its test flights, its control surfaces are the same tech as always. Based on the Raider, it would make sense that the F-47 would likely just have normal control surfaces too. But look at its canards. There's no seam between them and the fuselage. What if they bend and curve instead? We know the flexfoil tech is many years old, so could have been integrated with stealth coatings and the like by now. But on the other hand, this is an artist's impression that could be just low detail. And new tech like this is expensive, something the F-47 is supposedly trying to avoid. 
The next big tech thing the F-47 is actually quite likely to have is the ability to work in concert with armed drone fighters. The technical term for this is manned unmanned teaming, or collaborative combat aircraft, but you may have heard it go by the term loyal wingman, referring to the idea that a plane flown by a person would always have backup from its robotic followers. One way to think of them is in terms of being a detached extension of the lead aircraft, carrying more sensors and weapons for it to deploy as needed. Think back to the thing about limiting how long weapons bays are open for a stealth craft, and imagine how much more useful it would be to have the weapons bay on a different plane entirely. You can see why everyone is trying to make these things work, and sci-fi is chock full of all sorts of similar things, be they drones or full AI. I want to highlight the ones seen in the movie Stealth and the Ace Combat franchise. The first is pretty much all about this idea, though the AI Eddie with his super extra high tech jet is more intended to eventually replace the flesh and blood pilot he's teamed up with. The movie also has some musings about if drones are suitable for this role, and if it's worth having pilots still present to make moral choices, even if they're in harm's way. But it's kind of muddled in with a weird plot about the AI gaining sentience from a lightning bolt like it's Johnny Five, and consequently turning into an edgy teen with air-to-ground missiles. And yes, there's also the discussion about drones and AI in real life, but that's beyond the scope of this video. Ace Combat has its own take on it. AI planes have been a staple of the franchise since the second instalment, but Seven went all in with drones and AI being a huge part of the story and gameplay. There's the annoyingly agile little drones you fight throughout the game, but also the big super duper flying drone carriers are themselves also remotely operated drone craft. In the later levels, there's also normal jets with AI replacement pilots that very much play the part of the loyal wingman, backing up flesh and blood pilots, though they are not quite as capable as them. That does not apply to the two end bosses of the game though, the two AI ravens, Hugin and Munin, who are both smart, capable opponents. And they're dangerous because they just carry on with their programmed orders, despite them not being relevant anymore. What else might the F-47 have? Well, one trend in some upcoming jets like the Chinese ones seen flying around last December seems to be going for a tailless design. Forgoing the vertical empennage to make the plane nice and flat improves stealth and range, though maybe at the cost of some agility. But look at this thing, the X-36 from the late 90s. This was a subscale prototype specifically designed to see if a craft that was both tailless and agile could work and it worked well thanks to its canards. And oh look, the F-47 has those too. I find it interesting that, to my knowledge at least, there's actually not all that many tailless fictional fighters. There's a few around here and there, like the ones we've very conveniently mentioned already in this video, but they're definitely rare compared to how futuristic they feel. I don't know, just an interesting observation that's sure to change if these sixth generation jets end up being tailless. I hope you enjoyed this look at some of the techs out there that might be included on the F-47. Some are certainly a lot more likely than others, but it's also interesting to see how fiction may or may not have used some of them already, and to think about how future creations will be inspired by this new jet. You can support Space Talk by joining our Patreon, where you can get our frigate and space fighter design reference books. Alternatively, you can support us directly through YouTube by becoming a channel member. Thanks to our supporters, and thank you for watching.